Do I look fat? Does this make me look fat? Hold on, let me put a jacket on. I think I just look better in layers, that's just the truth. Hello friends, my name is Ruby Wire, and I'm sore. As you can probably tell from the thumbnail and the title, I jumped out of an airplane. I don't know how many people do it, I don't know what percentage of the population has jumped out of an airplane. I thought it was cool, my buddy hooked it up for me, um, Jules is playing with the camera, making me nervous. <sighs> Don't mind what's going on back here. That's how I do all this. I was gonna record VR today, but it didn't work out. I have instead sat on this couch watching uh, TV for the better part of eight hours. So next week I'll record. Whether or not it's VR, I don't know. I'm I'm I am in the midst of changing stuff. But here's some footage of me jumping out of a plane and some pictures as well. And then I'll talk a little bit about my experience afterwards. So, see you on the other side. on the ground man you had fun oh yeah absolutely hey, thank you very much thank you see ya So that just happened. <laughs> no, in, in all reality though, jumping out of a plane was a pretty damn cool thing to do. I have always wanted to. It, it was on my bucket list. Um, up there, keep an eye out for these vlogs. Um, climbing an active volcano and swimming with sharks. If I can get uh, footage of those things, I will, I will put those up too because I want to do both of those as well. But I wanted to jump out of a plane. For a while, I just thought it would be cool. I think getting up in the plane was honestly not that bad, right? And the, the guy's talking, the, the one that I jumped with, his name was Rogers. He was a dude strapped to my back. First off, first off, getting up there, not that bad. He made sure that we were fine on the way up. I jumped with another friend of mine and I kept her kind of 
you know, not visible for her own privacy sake. Um, but getting up in the plane was cool because we got to see over, we were in Florida Keys, if you didn't get that from the, uh, the footage. We got up in the plane and it was just a ride up up until the point where he had to, you know, push, he pushed us out of the plane. It wasn't like a, oh, we gently lean out. He pushed us out of the plane, which was cool and fine and dandy and all. But what was nuts was that I was sitting with my legs like crisscross in front of me and he's like, all right, I'm going to strap you. And I said, okay, big man, go ahead. And he picked me up <laughs> and just into his lap. And I was like, whoa, do I have to, do I have to pay extra for this? Cause that he just lifted me. Dude was strong, but we get out to the plane and he pushes us out, which was really, really cool. Um, the other cool part, I don't know if you noticed this about the landing, was that the parachute was, was the fucking ruby water colors. It was red, black, and white. It was literally the color scheme that I used, so that was really cool as well. Um, but it was a pretty exhilarating experience, right? Free fall for about 40, 50 seconds, um, and then flying down, gliding down gently for the next five minutes was really, really cool. And over the Florida Keys, it was just beautiful. And I'm not... I'm not usually one to all those tourist trappy kind of things, and this was by no means a cheap experience, um, but it was something that I wanted to do for a while, and for it to be able to happen just kind of out of nowhere was really cool because this, I was made aware that we were doing this maybe a couple weeks before it happened. It was just offered to me, and my buddy got the whole thing hooked up for us, and I paid for it, and we were good to go, and it was really, really cool. So, yeah, I I enjoyed it, though. It was, it was a rush, but it wasn't like this big scary like oh my god I'm gonna die I'm gonna hit the ground kind of rush um, that I thought it would be there wasn't a lot of fear behind it which maybe that speaks more to me than the actual act of jumping out of a plane um, but I don't know it was really really cool so I do recommend if you get a chance to jump out of a plane with a parachute do it I don't know about the one where they I don't know what it's called where you jump you throw the parachute out and then you jump out after it and you put it on on the way down. I don't know about that one. I don't know if I would do that one, but just regular jumping out of a plane wasn't all that bad. I was very badly sunburned, if you couldn't tell. Um, well, not very badly. Not as bad as last time. I was definitely red from being out in the sun. Oh, for, for a little, little bonus, this is me holding an alligator, so that was pretty cool. Um, because I, I wanted to do that too. I still want to wrestle a big one. I didn't get an opportunity to do that. I don't know. I don't know where I can do that. If anyone can hook me up with gator wrestling, let me know. Because that'd be really cool. Oh, there was one other thing. One other thing about, you know, skydiving that I wasn't super expecting. Um, it, it hurt a little more than I thought. In two ways, right? Because when you... I'm going to get up and show you my nuts. <laughs> when you when you strap into the thing, you strap in right here. But when when he, when Rogers picked me up and he just yoinked me backwards, I don't know if you can see me up here, but he yoinked me. The straps went <laughs> right up my nuts. <laughs> so that wasn't pleasant. But the other part was um, the landing. If you go back and look at where I landed, or I can just put a little clip right here. When we touch down. You start with your feet up and he says either we're gonna sit down to land or we're gonna um, we're gonna put our legs out and land for me it was okay put your legs down so we're coming in and we just go 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 and he says okay put your legs down and I go BAM I don't know if you can see that I go BAM and that it felt like you ever have like a six seven foot drop where you just kind of and it stings a little and it hurts a little but it's not like painful and it's not like debilitating it was like that it wasn't what I was expecting but good old time anyways I think that's it to do with jumping out of a plane if anyone has any questions ask them down in the comments I'm, I'm more than happy to answer my neck hurts really bad well I've got you here I did mention that there's kind of a change going on with the schedule stuff and I, I talked about this a little bit in streams not everybody sticks around for the back ends of the streams or anything like that but um, classy cocktails are gonna get a little bit of a change moving forward we're gonna do them more frequently we're gonna move to 36 a year instead of 26 um, hopefully we'll get through some other seasons a little quicker and we'll get to more bonus seasons because I'm I've got some real fun ideas for those and so does Emerald um, Gonna try and do more frequent live actions instead of 12 a year, hoping for about 16 or 17 a year. Um, 
And on the days that we don't do live actions, hopefully going to try and do some more indie games, some more one and dones. I am trying to get some new um, VR games to work, but i just not having a, a good old fun time with that. But Dead Space is going on. I've got some other ideas for some games I want to play. I really do want to move away from games. Not entirely, but, you know, a little bit. Maybe, you know, half games, half not games. We'll see. RubyWire was never meant to be just a gaming channel. It was that for a long, long time, and now that I... Not yet. As of the day of this coming out, I have about 26 days till I graduate with my master's degree. But now that I'm about to graduate with my master's degree, hopefully I will have more time to dedicate to creating things. I just gotta find the motivation to create things again. Not that I don't want to. I'm just... I'm tired. I've been going non-stop for... I mean, the last five years at least. Six, damn near. Um, and I'm just tired, and I want a little break, so I'm hoping to get, like, a backlog of stuff done and take a little break. You shouldn't notice anything in the upload schedule, but, you know, that is what it is. But this is something else for another day. Maybe I'll do another little quickie vlog talking about what's the future of Ruby Wire Incorporated and Company hold. But just a little little teaser trailer for you after I jumped out of the plane. So if you stuck around this long, glad to have you here. Hank and Jules are being fools. Jules, hey, come here. Come here, you. Come say hi. <laughs> okay. Say, can you say peace to everybody, Jules? See you on the next video vlog. Everything. Peace.